communication technology and social services. National ministers present here. Governor of the Central Equatorial State or his representative invited guests ladies and gentlemen i'm happy to be with you today at the launch of digital network the first fully owned south sudanese mobile operator When I went inside here to see how they operate, I was impressed of what I have seen. This launch, uh, the first fully owned South Sudanese mobile operator, this launch is very important because having third mobile operator in our country will fast track connectivity of areas previously not served by mobile phone companies. To our people who live in remote communities areas, who need mobile network. I would like to assure you that the government is determined to bring mobile services to your locations. The installation of mobile service infrastructure is an ongoing process. Recently, people in Mapeh in Rumbek North County and Pachala in Greater Pibor Administrative Area have been connected to mobile phone network. I have also been reliably informed that in three weeks' time, Boma in Greater Pibor Administrative Area and Kurun. Peace Village in Kapoita East County will also be connected to mobile network. <laughs> this development came as a result of direct government inter intervention with the support from private sector. We complement the government efforts in the telecommunication sector. My advice to digital network as the new con con entrant to the telecom, to telecom market is please do not concentrate your services within and around Juba only. Spread your services to other areas in the country. Moving to other areas is key because keeping your services in urban centers can delay our objective of closing the digital divide within our country. It can also delay us from catching up with the rest of the world on the field of digital technology. To demonstrate seriousness in our desire to connect rural communities to mobile network, the government will explore options including tax exemption that will benefit 
importation of network equipment and the telecommunications tools. This equipment will help increase digital literacy, literacy programs to our next generation for ICT driven economy. The tax exemption I am proposing will be done in collaboration with the National Revenue Authority to ensure modalities for tax exemption are consistent with its mandate. Finally, to prepare for our long-term digital infrastructure development, I am directing Ministry of Road, uh, I'm directing the Minister of Roads and Bridges to coordinate with National Communication Authority to include provisions for telecommunication infrastructure in all roads design and construction. This will support our goal of extending of extending digital services to many areas across the country. To end my remarks, I would like to wish Digital Network the best of luck as it enters this vital market. I also hope that it will grow to be a reliable mobile service provider in our country. Thank you very much all and may God bless South Sudan.